Is my kind of poise and my mindset in the net. I think I'm able to, like, if I'm having a bad game or a bad couple goals, I'm able to kind of reset. So I think that has contributed to my success, and I like to have fun out there. Yeah, I gotta keep it trendy on my soul. I'm the most selfish person that I know. Here we go down the rabbit hole. Got a couple carrots around my neck. Self respect when you out of line, you put yourself in check. Oh. Welcome to the Keller and Kess Show. I'm Megan Keller, and I'm Amanda Kessel. Welcome back to the Keller and Kess show. I hope you all enjoyed our interview with Hillary. She's the goat of women's hockey, one of the greatest to ever play, and also, as you saw, has some hilarious bloopers that come along with, with her amazing play. We'll never let her live those down, and you guys will have to let us know which one you thought is the funniest. Mine is still the goalie stick. That one kills me. And we have another great guest Coming up after our intro here, Maddie Rooney. She was she was our young stud goalie, led us to gold in 2018. And uh, Kess and I were just talking about her, actually. like I feel like we got to know her a lot more over the years. And when we're in group settings, you don't really get to hear much from her. And then you sit next to her in the locker room or you know, go on a coffee walk with her and she has some hilarious one-liners and uh, she's actually got some great stories from the 2018 residency that, that we talked about uh, off of the ice that you'd never know. So she'll be our next guest, but Kess and I haven't seen each other since Worlds, right? So we could catch up here. How have you been? I know, it's a a bummer. Like, go from... Being roomies 24-7, <laughs> missing, uh, making fun of each other. So, Yeah, she just made fun of me um, for my glasses, my four eyes. I can't but... even see you. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's got blue light, you know? I, oh, I yeah. had too much screen time recently. Yep. I need to, need to save the eyeballs. She's scrolling yeah. and swiping. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be swiping. <laughs> Look out <laughs> out there. <laughs> I'm, uh, no. I was watching a lot of TV shows. I actually have some good ones for you. Um, Citadel, hmm. Amazon Prime. It's like a, I think three episodes are out now. Uh, it's like a agent, special agent kind of show. Nick Jonas's wife is in it, and then the guy from like Bodyguard, I think. And then Saint X on Hulu. I've never heard of these. Yeah, they're good. They're like they're like mystery thriller shows. And then I just started the terminal terminal list on Amazon Prime. Hmm. Did you watch so. Succession? I feel like everybody's yeah. I had that one. I I s tried to start that uh, maybe like pre Worlds, and I just like wasn't in the mood to really lock it in for a show like that. Mm -hmm. So I haven't watched that yet, but my roommate's watching it, Haley Scrupa. She was on the podcast. She speaks very highly of it, so I'll have to give it a watch. Yeah, I haven't either, but everyone I know is watching it. So a few yeah, shows. So those are some good shows for everybody. I've been putting in work. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I got my glasses on. I'm more of a reader. Yeah. I've, been putting oh, in, yeah. I've been putting in my time in the books. Don't let I'm, her fool you I'm guys. She is not I'm getting smarter. <laughs> I've never seen her bring a book on the road ever, ever. And she'll fall asleep with her iPad lit all night. <laughs> I look over and the screen is just like blaring bright at me. I'm watching hockey, okay? I'm studying. <laughs> Reality TV, trash TV, whatever. Tell us uh tell us how your dentist appointment went today. Oh. You're making fun of my four eyes. Tell the my mouth like I I still, it's moving better now, but yeah, I went in for a nice little checkup and I was feeling old. I needed a crown, which, and I think a crown. I don't like, even know they did those anymore. Yeah. It reminds me of like my, my grandparents, like yeah. no offense to anybody with a crown, but yeah, I just thought it was like an yeah, old person I think thing. My, I think my mom, I, I think my mom maybe has one or two. I had to ask them if they were like. I was going to have gold and silver in my mouth. I was like all worried, <laughs> but now they said they make them like white. So I'm all good, but got a temporary uh, crown in there. So I can't lose it for four weeks. 
That's she, be she's having too many sweets at night. That's the other. That's the other thing that uh, I miss uh, on the road is literally at like 11 p.m. midnight. All of a sudden, the the lights whip on, and Kess is like, "I'm hungry," and goes right for the Belvita cookies and is crumbling. That was a one off. Bed. I don't even. <laughs> that was a one off. Don't don't be okay. putting that out there. Like I eat Belvitas every night. <laughs> She's she was fumbling the cookie bag in bed. All I heard was whatever. You're over there eating your what sour punch straws and oh yeah, chips. I've, I've had my fair share of cavities from from my days of eating the candies. So I feel like mine's from coffee or something like sweet coffee. Just it's probably from all, like, all the the sugar drinks. Yeah, because you don't like normal water. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing you can't <laughs> drink like <laughs> plain water. Nope. Um, other than that, other than my crown, I went to Luke Combs. He was unbelievable. Oh yeah, I luckily my brother went there too. The first time I saw him, he was like just barely getting big, and I saw him in like a private concert, and I oh, was really? like three feet from him. There was like a hundred people there. Unbelievable. He just had like hurricane, like, like all those just came yeah. out. That's always cool when that happens. That happened to me once I saw Jake Owen in high school and Florida Georgia line opened up for him. Wow. And then love and theft was after that. And then all of a sudden like Florida Georgia line is so huge. And yeah, all they had was like cruise. That was like the only song that everybody knew. It is crazy. Like, I was yeah. just watching him. Like, that must be so cool. And so, I guess it was his largest crowd ever. It was like 60,000 or something um, at the Steelers Stadium, which is now like Akrisha or something. But, yeah, unbelievable crowd. He was awesome. That was fun. This last weekend, I had a bachelorette for Megan Bozak, one of our <laughs> old teammates. That was hilarious. Yeah, tell, tell everybody what some of the theme was we got to get bows on here she's just like the funniest person ever and like most bachelorettes you know it's like you're dressing up and like the bride is like in white and everybody else is like in black and so they'll like be in like it's like cute like fun like tight like everybody's trying to be cute and yeah cute small dresses like <laughs> it was usually like a theme or whatever so her she had like Cinco de Mego, which was one of the themes. And then the best was like she wanted everybody to dress like a grandma. And we had no plans, but like everybody just went all out, dressed like grandma. Your guys' outfits were unbelievable. It was hilarious. Because it was like you could picture that person as that's what they were going to look like when they were, when they were older. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had wigs. And so we decided to go out to karaoke and like normal place and everybody there was a few bachelorette parties there and they were dressed in their dresses and they were like oh man like i wish we dressed like you guys and then you had like the guys were kind of giving us side eyes because they probably would have like you know seen something else but <laughs> the girls were like <laughs> they, they didn't know what was under that that wig or that nightgown <laughs> nope so yeah it was that was hilarious, though. That looked like so much fun. Oh, my God. It was just classic. You're right, though. We do need to get her on here because she's also one of – I feel like I say this every time, but she's, like, one of the most hilarious Yeah. She's top people. three, like, top five, top three, yeah. like, funniest that's ever been on the team. Like, her shenanigans, too. Yeah. Like, just what you described, like, getting up to things like that. Yeah. Like, she does that all the time. Yeah, well, just like her comp. Yeah, there was like a few where she was like, I don't know. She just comes up with. I know. You got to start writing it down. I've actually started like writing in my notes like mm. one liners from, from people. That's keep smart. in the back pocket. But it's actually hilarious to go back and look at. I had a few at Worlds that we. What were we saying that one time? I, can't I wish remember. we had wrote those down. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything with me. How about you? 
I'm going to, speaking of country concerts, going to see Zach Bryan on Friday with Scrupa, our other roommate, Dana Trevino, and McKenna Newkirk, so. That's unreal. He's uh, he's my number one. Where's he at? Where's he playing? Worcester. Is it like a huge, it's like, big stadium arena? Um, I think it's like, uh, it's like, I think it's a hockey arena. I think the... I forget the hockey team. I think it's like an EC team plays there. Nice. But, yeah, he's he's really good. He's my top one. And then I also bit the bullet and bought Morgan Wallen tickets. Wait. But, yeah, he's he's taken some We were supposed to go to time. him, too, in Pittsburgh here. Are you one of the shows that he's postponed or canceled? I don't – I didn't see that yet. Was there oh, like a he list? Just came out with it today. Well, he just, I think he needs to take like six weeks off or so because like his yeah. voice is so bad. But you got to watch the video and it's kind of hilarious when he's like making the statement. It's not funny, but he's like saying how bad he feels, but like his voice, like if he doesn't take this time off, like he's going to like ruin his voice forever. But then he also just like throws in there. I also uh, tore my lat. <laughs> and, like just like randomly throws it in there i saw the post and i saw people commenting like ah oh, he's he's faking it faking it yeah yeah people think that it's like people think he's faking guy it but isn't faking it like there's no way he doesn't want to make this money right like yeah no chance yeah i saw those that was hilarious i know so yeah i'm bummed about that too mm -hmm. so he's on ir mm -hmm. but that's really it just oh and i went back in the gym went back in the gym and i am so sore holy like doing the the drop to the toilet seat you what know what kind I'm of workouts about? are you doing you get what do you mean i'm i'm back to normal like just your normal workouts My program. yeah Jesus. Oh, well, I... <laughs> did you tell your guy you've been well on... i'm doing like body weight or like lightweight like i'm on a phase one program okay okay i'm starting from the beginning okay good and I'm doing two sets, but yeah, my heart rate was up there today in the warm ups. I was in the red and I work out with Bilka now and, and Barnsey's there and Carpy and Bilka was like, What a crew. You good? <laughs> like you good? My heart rate was like one eighty and I was doing like med ball tosses and box jumps. What a crew. I was like, No, I'm not good. <laughs> but yep, back to it and uh getting back into shape. Me too. Same yeah. here. That's it for me, though. Do you have anything else? No. I'm just looking forward to this week's uh, episode with Maddie. Hope you guys enjoy her. Her story is awesome person. Um, un unreal athlete, but just a great all-around person. Enjoy. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow us on Keller and Kesh Show, Instagram, uh, Torch Pro's YouTube channel, and also look out for our merch, Keller and Kesh Show at torchpro.com. We got some cool hoodies and stuff up there. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Keller and Kesh Show. We have another unbelievable guest, our first real goalie. I know we have Hillary <laughs> Knight on here, but this is our first real goalie. Uh, she's a brick wall back there, won a gold medal, I think, by the age of 20, and probably the biggest believer on our team. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's mel welcome Maddie Rooney. 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 Thanks Rooney. for having me. Rooney. Rooney. <laughs> a little Rudy shout out. Yeah. Do you like when we do that? I, wasn't it from like a movie, Rudy? Yeah. Never seen the movie. Oh my Never uh, seen no. it. Mm -mm. But I liked the chant. Yeah. Are you too young for that? I don't know. I feel like it is an old movie. It might is. have been yeah. too young. You're 97? Yeah, it's football, right? Yep. Yep. Notre Dame. I'll have to watch it. Yeah, put that on your list. Yeah. <laughs> One of my first memories uh, getting to know you, we were national camp roomies at the age of 15, yep. maybe, and St. Cloud. I walk in to see my roommate for the first time. She's got her bedding. She's got, like, all these hair care products, like <laughs> Justin Bieber posters. Like, she brought her whole room to national Egg camp. Eggshell and everything. <laughs> yep. And I came in with, like, a duffel bag. <laughs> Oh like, I'm Maddie. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I think I was going around showing everyone like the JV concert videos <laughs> and like how he looked right at me. I think 
Oh, Nothing man. has yeah. changed. But mm-hmm. you, you have great hair. Like, Thanks. it's unbelievable. Thank you. I try to keep so, it maintained. Something's working that, that we didn't do at no. 15, so. <laughs> Do you see my hair right now? Yeah. Looks great. Yeah, just had great. a gain, Thanks. though. Yeah. yeah. Big loss. Excuse. Yeah. Could have used you out there. It's on. It's heating up. Yep. Mm-hmm. Two and L. But back to back to you. Growing up from Minnesota, I've never left Minnesota. No, I don't branch out. Your life haven't or... left the bubble. No. no. <laughs> it's something about like Minnesotans. 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 Yeah. Minnesotans. You, know you. <laughs> you attended the U. I did, but I'm a Wisconsinite. <laughs> Um, that they just never leave there. No, that is true. We were talking about that. All of us we haven't lived anywhere else. I guess Florida. Florida for six months. I'll saddles. take that. Yeah, saddles. Yeah. So growing mm-hmm. up, did you start young in hockey? Or what other sports were you playing? What was kind of your upbringing? Yeah, I had no family in hockey, so my parents kind of just threw me into it at the age of four. That's along. why you end up as goalie? <laughs> Actually, no. Your parents didn't know? <laughs> Actually, I had begged to play goalie, so I started out as a skater, um, a forward. And I played five years as a skater, and then I was like, I wanted to try goalie so bad. I thought the equipment was so cool, but my parents obviously thought it was so expensive, so they're <laughs> holding me away from it as they long as right. they could. <laughs> yeah, but finally I was able to to convince my parents to get me a set of street hockey pads and my dad would shoot on me in the driveway and he thought I was he thought I wasn't good so <laughs> he held he held me he's away just from scoring it. goals yes. like <laughs> he held me away from it for another year but I was finally able to try it out in practice and never went back so grew up playing association hockey in Andover played boys hockey um, then went on to play two years of girls high school hockey and then my final year um, with the boys varsity team which was cool to come full circle with that team and then went on to play Duluth that's awesome did yeah. you play other sports growing up yeah I played. because I feel like you're a sneaky good athlete <laughs> yeah I learned this during the Olympic year I, I don't know why most times I feel like you wouldn't think a goalie would be good at like other sports <laughs> you're so athletic oh, just thank like you we did a lot of sprints that year. Yeah. Like watching you run and playing basketball even. You were yep. a good athlete. I had a basketball hoop in the driveway growing up, so that might have contributed to my layups. But I don't shoot it right, but somehow it gets in the net. <laughs> they don't um, ask how. Yeah. I grew up playing soccer um, for like five years, and then I played fast pitch softball through high school. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I didn't – I guess I didn't know that you played boys high school. Yeah. Like, what was that experience like? How were the guys? Yeah. Like, what was different at that age? Because we both stopped before high school. Mm -hmm. So how did you continue on with that? Yeah, I guess because I grew up kind of playing with the same team, the same boys team every year. And then um, it was just kind of the thing I did. I wanted to go play girls high school hockey, went to the state tournament with them there, which was awesome. Um, But I just wanted to get, like, kind of the ultimate challenge leading into – Division One women's college hockey, and I kind of missed playing with the guys. And the coach, the boys varsity coach, gave me gave me a chance, gave me the tryout. And actually, my dad took control there. He got me the tryout, but <laughs> I was an introverted shy girl. But um, and so coming full circle with that team, it was definitely different. You know, like having your own locker room. Um, but the guys were great. Um, some of them I still keep in contact with today. So, and it was just it was fun because it hadn't been done in Minnesota very often. Um, girls playing boys varsity or boys JV, boys high school in general, and it was just kind of cool to go out there and have the eyes on you and be able to um, kind of show the guys up or at least try to. Especially in Minnesota because yeah. that high school hockey is like the pinnacle. Yeah, it's intense. The state yeah. attorney, everything. Mm-hmm. Did you ever make a debut in the hockey hair videos? Oh my gosh, no! The, you would be in those. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, I could see you skating up with yeah. your hair. In Pee Wee's, we went to the state tournament and everyone bleached their hair, but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you're doing that. No, <laughs> you're out. Mm-hmm. And then you ended up going to Minnesota Duluth. Were there other schools in the picture for you? Did you? Oh, I mean, clearly you never left the bubble. Yeah. Um, I started being recruited by Duluth as a sophomore, and they were the first school that reached out to me. And there were some other um, Minnesota schools in the mix that I was deciding between, but ultimately decided on Duluth just because I love the city. I was born in Duluth, actually, fun fact. And I had a cabin like 30 minutes from there, so I was really familiar with the town. And I liked the hockey community they had, and I liked the coaching staff. And, yeah, it was a good fit. And then... At what age did you know that you wanted to be on the national team, that you had aspirations to be an Olympian? 
Yeah, growing up, like I had always watched the national team. I had watched the Olympics, but I wouldn't say like it was necessarily a dream of mine until um, maybe my junior year in high school when I started like getting opportunities at the national camps. Um, I was actually I was cut from U18s, and so that was kind of me that too. Kind of, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> it kind of allowed me to just like okay, I've been here. Like I've made these tryouts. Like I can I can make that team, and it kind of sparked the spark that drive and dream of making the national mm -hmm. team for me there so and then was your your first national team was 2017 2017 right? winter camp yeah okay wow. and we were gonna boycott yeah that world yes how like what were you That's thinking crazy. when that that had to have been so hard to mm -hmm. finally get the chance to represent your country on the world stage and then you hear we're boy boycotted. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, can't speak. <laughs> yeah, boycotting. It was, it was crazy because, like you said, yeah, it was a very exciting time to get the call that I had made the world's roster, and then, like, I don't know, it was very, very short after I got a call from one of the Lamoureux twins, and they're like, "Okay, we're boycotting," and I'm like, "Wait, what?" And me, like, not really knowing anyone at the time, I was just kind of like, "Okay, just like keep me in the loop, and like I'm not gonna cause a fuss or anything." So just keep me informed and um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy. I was honored to be a part of that team and like what we stood for and the changes that, the changes that came from that um, event and yeah. That's crazy, like your first national team and then like a year later, you're going Two to- Two months later. You're going yeah. like, well, to the Olympics. Olympics. Yes. Uh, sorry, yeah, to, to go forward. Like, yeah, it was a crazy cool. rise to the team. It all happened very fast. Like I said, my first national team camp was that 2017 winter camp. And then a couple of months later, I'm at Worlds, had a debut game against Russia. And then two months later, maybe even a month later in May, was Olympic tryouts. Yeah. And, it and was then crazy. we go into residency. Yes, in August. So. And you get to take a whole year of school off, yeah. just focus on hockey. You're you're making a little bit more money mm -hmm. than you do in college, <laughs> and a little bit. We know we know you like to go shopping. It was did bad you, that did year. Did you end up saving any of that money, or no? <laughs> that was like my favorite thing about shopping. you, because like obviously you're a little bit quieter, reserved, yeah. and then like once you get you one on one, you're chit chatter. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that year I just remember like. <laughs> like I think it was like the twins like anybody older they were just so worried that you were spending all of your your money shopping they're like she's got new shoes again yeah. like does she know she People needs to like, like save like, for keep rent in track <laughs> oh my god she's someone like, she had a new outfit on, on. <laughs> oh I think well my roommates Nicole and Kelly they were all for it too they, they were oh, egging, they were probably egging yeah. you on yeah yeah but we had a nice outlet mall down there it was a good um outlet I guess for me from the <laughs> hockey world so I like to online shop saddlebags front desk knew me by first name so picking up packages um my saving has gotten better I'd like to say I have a house now and I bigger bills so it's caused <laughs> rude awakening into the adult life of saving so but your love of like shopping has now kind of led to a pretty cool thing that I don't know. I don't think you are you an owner of royalty. Your boyfriend owns um, it, but you design. Yes, I'm the head of the women's design apparel. So it's yes, it's royalty clothing. Um, it was cool. My boyfriend owns it. Um, for those of you that don't know, also that's a scandalous story. How <laughs> I came to be dating him? Should I go into that? We'll get back to that. that. Yeah. <laughs> no. So yes, it's a athletic based company based out of Minnesota, and it's just been fun, a good uh, balance for me to do on the side outside of training. I enjoy um, bringing cool ideas to the women's apparel and supporting it when I can. So yeah. Yeah, you got our team some pretty sweet shirts before. Uh the Olympics last yeah. time around, so yeah, they have really cool see. stuff. You guys should check them out. Yep, royalty, yeah. shout out. Royaltyfam.com. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, thanks. And then back to being on the Olympic team and, and leading up to the Olympics, and then what was kind of your mindset? Did you know that you were going to be the starting goalie? Like, once you kind of figured that out, like, yeah. how did you prepare for that? Um... I think I was told that I was going to start in November. So, but before that, I mean, again, it's my first year kind of on the team and I was just taking the opportunities as they come, um, worked hard in practice and I, I didn't expect anything, you know, I was kind of just like honored to be there, wanted to compete and push my goalie trio and push my teammates, but it was just waiting for the opportunities and trying to take advantage of them when they came. So. Mm -hmm. 
I think my favorite part about you is like you're just stone cold killer in that like no matter what's going on in the game whatever shots are coming your way we could be down by a lot up by a lot like you're just yeah rock solid back there like <laughs> shit could be hitting the fan yeah. and I just like look back I'm like all right yeah Mad- Maddie's not even phased this is yeah. great <laughs> and that's how I felt watching the shootout from the penalty oh, yeah. box mm-hmm. did you feel that way like do you feel that way or are you like holding it back inside yes no I think I'm pretty calm I would say I'm pretty calm in the net but I mean sometimes I'm like back there like good thing I'm not mic'd like saying oh shit you know (laughs) well it never shows yeah um yeah a lot of people talk about the shootout how I was kind of smiling in net there I don't it was just fun you know like I like shootouts I never imagined that the gold medal game would go into a shootout and when we had an edge on them I mean I was just like oh my like one more kind of save and we're gold medalists like that was awesome I have like chills, like just thinking about it and, yeah. and being yeah. twenty, like and then in the net at the Olympics. For I gold literally medal. remember you like scoop, like the puck is kind of <laughs> sliding, and I'm like, oh no, make sure you get it, yeah. <laughs> and like you like scooped it out just to make mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, you can't. You got to be careful with those. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it was almost secure the bank. <laughs> that was unbelievable. But that's where like you were talking about the athleticism. Like you just know, like you're always somebody, like in the net. That's just like steady but that athleticism always shows through and you're ready to make any save Mm -hmm. but you are quite serious too like I don't even know what your preparation is like but goalies are like goalies are weird so different yeah (laughs) I don't even see you guys and all of a sudden you're chucking like 20 balls at the wall it's like (laughs) yeah I've had the same pregame routine since high school and I've never really deviated from it so and I'm superstitious so I don't plan on moving away from it anytime soon but what do you do um, I've listened to the same playlist since oh high school, gosh. which is crazy. So it's That's a lot of crazy. like old Drake, like a lot of old hip hop rap songs. Um, I do hand eye warm up. So you're not listening to me on the aux? <sighs> well, no, I only listen. <laughs> I only have to listen to music like when I'm doing my hand eye, like that playlist or on the ride to the bus um, or ride on the bus to the game. She like has I am yeah. number one on it. Yeah. I am <laughs> All I do is win. <laughs> Is that on the there? Oldie. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I have like I have to throw the racquetballs against the wall a certain amount of times, like weird things like that. I'll like left sock, left skate, left pad. Um, have to bounce the ball on the ground after warm ups a certain amount of times. It's a lot. That Kress, is. Kess is over there just like whipping her shin guards on, yeah, yeah. around her clear tape. Like, no. all right, that looks good. Sometimes she puts one tongue in, one tongue out. <laughs> Yeah, I just go with it. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, whatever I gotta be works. Prepared. Yeah, any day. I was watching. Like I could never be a goalie. I was just yeah. today. I was watching. And Nick's just like hanging out at the dot alone. I was like, oh, That's during so media weird. timeouts. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, what do you do back there alone? Like, I would go well, the crazy. D go and visit. Like, yeah. I don't know what you forwards are doing. I gotta get back like, there. Not, more. not going back. <laughs> like, I don't mess like, them up. Oh. Like, we'll go talk to him. Yeah. Maybe you should take a yeah. Come tap on. Tap the pads. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they like that. Mm-hmm. Do you? Yeah, a little fist bump. <laughs> yeah, it's nice not be alone on the island sometimes. <laughs> All right, I'll take a visit. I'll, <laughs> I'll swing by there. I'm yeah. usually not like in front of the net much, so I'll, yeah, people are gonna be like, "Wow, Kess is really back checking all the way yep. <laughs> these days." I'll be uh, just to say hi to the goalie. Well, last time I back checked, it didn't work out. That was literally there. me and her. Yeah, probably. we were coming that's back. That's the reason for that goal. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's okay. I didn't pick up the girl six. I didn't know what back. I was doing yeah. either, but yeah. yeah. I ended up in the net taking you out, I think, so <laughs> those happen. Yeah. yeah, it won't happen again. No. Moving on kind of from your uh, hockey career, some of my favorite stories. Yeah, let's go back to the love life. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) let's do with your exes. (laughs) And this is just like, somehow these stories just come up. And I just was your roommate for the first time uh, a couple weeks ago Mm -hmm. and and hearing these stories, and I was belly laughing at them. (laughs) Because you you wouldn't expect it because you seem so quiet. Yeah. And you are, but like once people get to know you, you're hilarious. Like you just have to be the sitting by you in the locker room or like at moments in time where like they'll just come out <laughs> some yeah. one-liners yeah yeah so it was like so you, what do you want to know well it was like you had like <laughs> this boyfriend in high school that was like rough around the edges rough and around the edges it you ended up like breaking up with him in college yeah college. didn't go well it didn't mm-hmm. go well and then he the was infamous like infamous car yeah vandalizing like <laughs> 
her parents' house. Yep. Sorry, mom and dad, if you watch this, putting you on blast. But yeah, he had he wasn't happy. Um, did some damages to the parents' house, to my uh, car, keyed my car, some derogatory language in it. <laughs> I call it. Can I say it? Yeah, yeah, you say it. I call it the slut wagon now because <laughs> that's, what's that's what he keyed, keyed into it. He, yeah, you guys can't good. get it out. No, nope. and you that, we tried painting I think that's over the best it. part is you you continue to drive it yeah. around like mom and dad is driving yep, they don't driving care. it around no. that's your parents are like beauties I like know. your yeah. mom literally <laughs> drives around this car slut wagon yeah slut mobile yeah slut wagon still still just a constant so reminder that's boyfriend is listening yeah it's just a constant reminder <laughs> yeah. like i'm better than him yeah <laughs> you are that is oh, hilarious it, it went uphill from him though yes kind of kind of the hamster yes <laughs> then we had another one when we were this was during the olympic, olympic year. residency yeah <clears throat> yeah so that was kind of just a little fling down there <laughs> never put a label on it but <laughs> have you or have you not ever gotten a hamster as a gift from an ex-boyfriend yes but it only i only had it as a pet for 10 minutes until i had to give it back and say this is not okay <laughs> and my you're roommate's down there training down there. for the olympics yep. and you're about to leave to Can't go have to pyeongchang hamster. No. What is what is this kid thinking? I don't know. Well, okay, the story was... It was actually really sweet, if you think about it in a weird way. <laughs> the story was that I had a hamster growing up. Um, short story, but I was an only child. Pretty much. I have a half-brother, but he moved out when I was young, and so I was kind of an only child growing up, and I always told my parents, like, if you got me a hamster, like, I won't be lonely. Like, I guilted them into oh. getting me a hamster as a kid, and Harriet... <laughs> Harriet, um, <laughs> Harriet the yep. hamster. Harriet the hamster. And so I was talking about Harriet with this guy down in Florida and how I like had the best time with the hamster when I was younger. <laughs> Literally two days later, two days later, he shows up on the door oh. doorstep with a hamster, oh and God. we're about to leave in like a month. So I had to give it back. It was maybe it was cute. The thought was nice, but just not. Mm. Boys, smart. if you're listening, don't don't give a girl a hamster. <laughs> like no, it's not it. Go for the jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the jewelry didn't work out. Nope, he got me a oh. necklace. <laughs> got me a necklace. Backtrack on that statement. <laughs> he got me a necklace with his uh, initial on it. It never left the box. It never put mm-hmm. it on. But I don't know where that thing ended up. That was also a nice thought, but it just wasn't a long-term thing. And but then a couple months later, you're winning Olympic gold. Yeah. Well, Quite the upgrade. You can only go up from there, you know, and now you're doing well. <laughs> yes, now I'm in a long-term relationship. <laughs> Steady, uh seems seems normal so far so <laughs> yeah yeah and then what else have we got for you um a few little notes let's see oh this one i i just kind of learned from some people i just think oh, you no. have the funniest stories that you were scammed online for like very Dyson. gullible yeah dyson hair dryer yeah because every like i wanted I this it. thing everyone knows the dyson air wrap like it's it's so expensive tiktok trendy i'm into the tiktoks now it's the big trend there so i was like okay i gotta have this thing i thought i was getting a steal like late night it's probably like 1 a.m i'm scrolling on my phone online shopping 250 dollars comes across my screen and i'm like i need that order it never got it like two weeks later and i, I look back on the website it says like Dyson dot something dot something. Um, dot. Oh, it's just like <laughs> fake website. Yeah. So I got scammed by that. And then I also probably the same week I got a call like, oh, someone charged something to your Amazon account. <laughs> someone charged something to your Amazon. And I'm like, no, I didn't do that. Like it went down this whole thing of like getting scammed in that sense. But that one I was able to like, it was like probably an hour scam that I was on the phone with, but I was able to shut it down. I came to my senses, but and then this is who we have in our net stopping yeah. pucks for us. I know. <laughs> Nothing gets by her no. <laughs> on the ice, it but it's, it's getting yeah. by her <laughs> off the ice. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you would have been in my my Instagram got hacked a while ago oh no. about for Bitcoin, and they were saying <laughs> I would verify you if you sent me Zell Cash. I had hundreds and hundreds of DMs like, "You're a liar!" Like I sent you money twice, like months after people were in my comments like. Oh my you're such a fraud like these people sent money multiple times and the guy was like oh it's not working try again try again i'll have to look if you're in my dms no the zell the zell gets you <laughs> i've been on that one too <laughs> facebook marketplace don't trust the zell oh, uh, yeah All maybe right. you should stay off the online shopping I know. you should stick to in person maybe someday yeah 
or just making the clothes yeah designing the clothes Mm -hmm. maybe someday yeah so what's next for you in life what's kind of your plan what it what are your next goals wish i could tell you no but day by day yeah i want to continue to play hockey um like i said i help my boyfriend's clothing brand out on the side i graduated with business marketing and so him having a brand and um just a environment for me to kind of thrive with that marketing knowledge and has been fun and I eventually want to do something in marketing I don't know if it'll be I want to branch out from his brand like I will always be helping out (laughs) yes I want to bring my bring my own like income to the relationship you know so but no I will always be involved with that and I eventually want to work with a sports marketing job whether that's with a professional team or so be it but also I'll continue to coach I'm a goalie coach in the summer um, I was a high school coach for two years um, I always want to give back in that sense so I'll be a I'll be involved with coaching whether it's part-time just goalie coaching whether whatever it may be in the future I that's feel like awesome. something sneaky too I feel like you're good at photography yes that is another hobby that I took up yeah also because of his clothing brand um I needed it was in COVID I think where it was hard to get a photographer or um even get like models so he had me yeah you were a model slash yeah yeah. and like all of our teammates now have ended up like yeah there's been some Nick Nick models she's modeled once or twice (laughs) Kelly's been in Kelly's been in there but that's hilarious to think about that really is (laughs) It's, it's funny but they're great at it, um, and they have fun. It's all fun. But in the, in COVID, he actually bought me a camera just because he wanted me to be able to take photos of models if a photographer wasn't available. And it kind of um, opened up into a hobby of mine, like not just taking pictures for the brand. Um, I took a couple like senior pictures, family pictures, had my own little business for a bit. It's shut down for right now, but maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I was getting too uh, ahead amazing. of myself there. But Maybe in the future it'll spark back up again. My dog, Gracie, she was my biggest or number one model for a while. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I feel like people don't get to know that about us. Like, mm-hmm. I barely even knew that. I'm, I continue to learn more and more about you each yeah. day, like, off the ice. Mm-hmm. So it's cool to hear about all the different hobbies that you have. And journaling, mm-hmm. I've heard of this one. Like, I keep, yeah, I feel journaling. like in the last month I've just been learning yeah, journaling the five the five minute journal. It's also a trend. Um, I've taken that up. The past. <laughs> you're just big on the trends. Yeah. <laughs> big on the trends. I'm Into this TikTok for you page, you just scroll and yep. oh, that one looks good. Again, it <laughs> supports my online shopping. Like they recommend this product. Okay, I'm buying it. But yeah, five minute journal. It's just five minutes every morning. What you're grateful for, things like that. And then at the end of the day, highlights of the day. It's been nice to like kind of reflect and be more like mindful of like what's going on daily. So mm-hmm. I've enjoyed it so far. That is cool. I, yeah. That's really cool. Like, we what have start you? Doing that. Yeah, we should. Maybe we'll be road roommates and we'll start. I'll hold yeah. everyone to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hold us accountable. Yeah. Instead of watching TV shows, because yeah. you're into reading. Yeah, well. I like reading. Um, I like Outer Banks though. That's my show right mm. now. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, it's a good. There's one. a new yeah. season out. Yeah, it's good. If you had to recommend any book anybody what oh, would it be okay I like the rom-com so <laughs> the clean hoover the author clean hoover I like all of her books I like Lucy score um Lee gets mad at me she's into more like the non-fiction like history all that no I'm straight straight <laughs> rom-com kind of awesome. yeah into what the history yeah mm-hmm. you're into like the spies like yeah oh, I like murder yeah. mysteries too mm-hmm. that's awesome yeah all right well should we do our starting five yeah do you have a I'm thinking like so we do we like to do this segment it's called the starting five and we pick a category kind of catered to whoever we're interviewing um and it's just the top five in that given category okay so what can we do for you clothing brands oof stores clothing stores shoe brands it's really only Nike. Out. Justin yeah, Bieber songs? Oh. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, they a winner. <laughs> that yeah. is hard. That is Let's hard do to think Jay of. songs, though. He's got so many. Okay. So, yeah. top five? Yeah, starting five. Starting five. All right. As long as you love me has always been a banger. I used to be able to do the dance to it. So, I have, that has to be on there <laughs> somewhere. Some video yeah. Beauty and footage. a Beat is good. Mm. Eeny Meeny is a bang. 
one time's got to be in there. Well, she's rattling. One off. time, yeah. Something newer. I may need to look. What's one of his new songs that's good? Um, Ghost. What's it no. called? Uh, Sorry's okay. Peaches. Peaches. <laughs> Peaches. That's no, nice. not a top five. <laughs> what? Not a top five. Baby, that might be one. I think it's a baby, lot of his old songs that are baby's on one the top of mine five. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Gotta, nah. Love yourself. Nah. Oh my. What? Well, no? it's a good song, but not top five. Wow. All there is no bad songs. I mean. I'm going baby. I like beauty and a beat. Wow. Yep. He has so many I'm good ones. Boyfriend. I'm going boyfriend. Ooh. That one's good. Sorry. Sorry's good. And hold on. Yeah. Oh, I like that one too. Mm-hmm. His best concert. I've been to all of his concerts <laughs> in Minnesota. Best concert was the um, Believe album. So that was the As Long As You Love Me, Beauty and a Beat. Have you met him? No. I remember after 2018, a little. He when posted we were on me Jimmy on Instagram, Fallon, right? Yeah, Biebs posted me on Instagram, and I remember like we what? were in Saddlebags. Were, were you wearing a T-shirt? Or? Yeah. Honestly, it was kind of selfish looking back on it, but we were <laughs> no, on. we were all for it. Honestly, I was wearing a T-shirt of I think it said Team Beaver under my jersey, and like I think Fallon asked me if I would like challenge Beaver to a shootout. That wasn't I had no idea that was coming. I think you I still like, should. I was like sure, and then I you lifted should. up my jersey. Maybe next year at the All Star Game. <sighs> Maybe it's I'm in Toronto. It. I'm sure he'll be there. Yeah, Maybe yeah. we can get you there. Yeah. Jay Beebs, I mean, he is Canadian, so if I know. he wants to do Canada versus U.S., we'll take it. Yeah, come on, Beebs. Jay Beebs versus Maddie Rooney. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my gosh, that would be a sight. It would be. He's, like, tricky, he seems like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if <laughs> like, he's got the hands, but he gets it in there somehow. Yeah, like I feel like he would be sneaky. Yeah. Like yeah. Somebody you don't think is that good, and then all of a sudden. Well, I think he went off against a nhl goalie i can't remember who like a shootout against an, maybe it was bennington i might yeah, be starting no. rumors i but think you're right yeah. yeah he does look kind of dusty out there though. <laughs> yeah. it's like, don't tell i won't him hold that. it against him no <laughs> just calling it how it is but yeah. it seems like he's sniping in men's league so he dangles out there yeah yeah he should be yeah <laughs> <laughs> well there you have it and then oh one more thing we got our, our bauer question of the day which okay can you answer it? Are you allowed to? <laughs> I think so. It's called the it factor and kind of what's your it factor? Um, you know, what's made you you and so good and difference maker? Wow. It's a deep question. Mm-hmm. I would have to answer that. I think what has got led me to the success that I have is my compete level um, and athleticism. Kind of put those, <laughs> kind of put those Just together. Just purely genes. That's yes, it. Jeans. thanks, mom. But um, oh, I know dad. Just your mom's mom more athletic in the sports. Yeah, wow, she did the sports. That's awesome. Um, and I think just kind of like you alluded to early on is my kind of poise and my mindset in the net. I think I'm able to, like, if I'm having a bad game or a bad couple of goals, I'm able to kind of reset. So I think that has contributed to my success, and I like to have fun out there. So Definitely. Yeah, yeah. that's a great answer. I can agree with mm-hmm. that. Yeah, the poise. You're a rock back there. Oh, thank you. That's mm-hmm. for sure. You guys are pretty great, too. <laughs> Yeah, except for that yeah. one two on one, but we'll, we'll, be we'll clean it, it yeah. up. All we'll right, that it. won't happen again. We're gonna be getting sticks. <laughs> We're gonna be working on that. Yeah, definitely. We got her in the weight room. <laughs> yeah, I'm bulking right now. <laughs> bulking season. Yeah. yeah. So, well, Watch thanks out. for joining us. Uh, we learned a lot. I'm sure our listeners will have learned a lot as well. Make sure you like and subscribe wherever you're listening to. You can watch it on Torch Pro's YouTube channel. And also look out for Keller and Kess show merch at torchpro.com.